Hi folks, back to oil painting after a couple of watercolours. Uh, I'm waiting to receive a, a tube of the uh, red ochre. I've never used it before, I hadn't heard about it until a few weeks ago. So I'm going to use the light red, which is the usual one. That was the one that Dennis Sheehan recommended. Um, so, uh, light red, sap green, basic colours, and we'll see where we go from there. I'm really enjoying the oil painting at the moment, as you know. A couple of things. Um, as far as I'm concerned, oh, Uh, atmosphere trumps detail every time in my book. And there, there are people that can copy and can do marvellous things that I can't do, but a lot of their work, and my work, come to that, is uh, void of any uh, atmosphere. It's a statement of, look how clever I am. But you think back to the Impressionists, and I use that term in the, its original meaning, where they painted the light and they went out and, and painted the lights and, and their paintings are full of atmosphere, not detail. The detail is suggested and that's what we're doing with this uh, method of painting with the uh, using a lot of oil and I, I've got my oil mix, I've got some linseed oil, ordinary stuff from the hardware sh the shop, but with uh, uh, a dollop of, of the uh, Alkyd resin oil or the fast drying medium. There we are, Windsor and Newton, Artisan. I was I I, I was asked about um, soluble water uh, soluble oils. Now I've never used soluble water uh, soluble oil paints. Uh, they've been around for years, I know. Uh, but um, I don't think, as far as oil goes, you can substitute water for oil. Nice gloopy oil. Uh, and, the, and the great advantage of this method is that it, 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 it uh, doesn't dry very quickly. But with the alkyd resin or the uh, or whatever you use, fast drying linseed oil, um, it will dry, touch dry in, in a day. And you can paint over it. So I'm no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do what uh, I learned to do was to just to start. A bit of oil, or a lot of oil, sap green. This is Winsor Newton sap, sap green. It's, uh, it's artist quality. So let's just, just get some stuff on there. Um, we can change all this as we, as we uh, go along. My influence, is, as such as it is, has been been with uh, the River Wandel and its uh, and the Wandel Valley, which will go down tomorrow. If it's not raining. It's raining now. Ah, let's get some nice, good dark stuff in there. So I paint really, apart from being down in Cornwall the week before last. Um, I just, oh, I just have to make do with what I've got. Uh, I'm lucky to have the River Wandle on my doorstep. Let's pull it up. Oh, come on. I said, well, what I'll do, I'll just get my hammer. Or pliers. Everything's always as far away as it can be when you want something, isn't it? Well, I haven't got headphones plugged in as well. Right, okay. Let's just put that up there. Let's discourage it from falling out. There's a couple of little pins in the, in the uh, support, in the, the canvas support or whatever we use. I want plenty of, plenty of red, readiness. Um, let's do it like that. 
then I can get to the top of that, can I? Got nice and goofy, or a lovely, lovely bit of stuff there. Enough oil. Well, the oil is quite thick with that uh, fast dryer in it. Okay, let's. Oh, it's pouring down the rain. Now that's a good start for a Monday morning, isn't it? Right, now we'll clear, clean the brush and find my dirty rag. And since I found out about the best, a good way to clean the brushes with the washing powder diluted with a bit of water, warm water, and leave them in soak for a while, it, it's, uh, it means that my my oil paints are non-toxic as far as it goes. Somebody will say, well, that's toxic, or well, that's toxic. The only bit of toxic stuff in this is the fast drying oil because the, I think the alkyd version is probably petroleum based, but I only use a little bit of that. Okay, that's a, now get, get the old tissue and we'll start to, to rub away. And see what we can come up with. And a lot of a lot of oil on this look because that's uh, that's all run now. Uh, this one going away into the uh, Good path in, always a good start, isn't it? Find a clean bit of uh, tissue. Filthy fingers already. Up a slope here, I think. Just clean out some of that there. Nice little red in that. Got a big roll of paper. It's no good buying the uh, supermarket packets of uh, kitchen paper. You want big rolls for this. Texture and tone. Now I've only put one one coat of gesso on this, and probably a, a thin coat of of emulsion, white emulsion. 
Right, let's put a bit of texture back in there now. Uh, let's go a bit of texture brush. Uh, oh, we'll use, we'll use that one. Oil, glasses. Oops. Light against dark, light against dark. Let's take a bit of that, more of that out there. I've got a new uh, tube of uh, sap green. Not sure what I'll, I'll do in the sky. I might put a bit of blue sky in there. A lovely, lovely texture. I've got the picture split in two at the moment, so let's just join it up a bit. Mm. Right, I'll clean the brush and I'll, I'll go and do a bit of sky now. I've got lots of these little brushes that I've bought, well, they're not little, they've got to three inch, two inches. Inches, which has been my wafting brush. Uh, so. But I'll just take out some of that. Uh, Got a bit too thick on that one. I think I'll do better with my fingernails. Now, if you, if you don't like it, you can just paint over it.
Right, the sky. Let's do a bit of sky where that sort of goes off a bit. Uh, a big brush. I must get some more of these. The inch and a half flats. They're, they're good for the pro art ones and they last for ages. Mm. Right, so let's... Uh, oh, let's have a bit of, bit of red in there. You just, you just put stuff on uh, and, and knowing that you're going to change it and it'll free you up because there's, there's nothing about this that you can't change. Plenty of white in that, it's an ultramarine. This is only two two millimeter MDF, so it's a little bit bouncy, but it doesn't matter. The the, paint, the board itself is beautifully uh, tough, resilient, and very light in weight, which is very important for my stuff on Etsy. I haven't put any of these on Etsy yet. They're, they're too big, really, to to post. I think it might make it a bit prohibitive. Yellow oak, a very, very good colour in your skies. Let's try to get a better shape in for the clouds. Alright, let's get a bit of that light red and a bit of that uh, ultramarine. I'll mix a little bit of red, light red with that uh, ochre. Now we'll get a good bit of dark now. With the red, red and the blue. So we can get a bit of dramatic sky. Oops. Right, let's go wafting. Clean this one first. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is messy, but so uh, get get into it, get stuck into it. Now um, I'm going to use this wafting brush here. This. Bit of fluff there. When you cut through toweling, you cut through the uh, the weave of it, and it, you get lots of little bits. I get some more light on that horizon there. I think now this is still you losing some of its hairs. Oh, 
Oh, let's throw that one away. Got another one. Ooh. You can get a bit of tur Turner, Turner-esque swirling in this. Put a bit of a bit of light back here. <coughs> I put quite a bit of bit of uh, red in this. I wanted sort of a warmer colour than just the green. Look how you can change all this. Okay, well that's starting to look quite nice, quite tasty. Right, uh, get some more light in there now. We'll take out some of that. I might just make that more green all over and uh, not worry too much about that and then just take out, lift out the texture with, the, with these lovely spiky brushes. Oh, that's just... We'll go back into the, uh, the sky. The only thing about so you know, washing the brushes in, in the uh, washing the washing powder idea is that they do take a while to dry. Right, just a red, a bit of white, a bit of ochre. clean the brush and then do a bit of wafting. I saw a very nice brush in uh, Asda last Friday. It was a, a, paste, a pasting brush, it was four quid, or even three quid, it, it, it was four inches, that's a, that's a three inch brush. No, it's like it's two and a half, so the four inches, it was just too wide. But so uh, let's see, let's get a bit of, bit of direction with this. prefer this to the other one. That one, because it's softer.
can't be brushes all in up on the floor. Can't be water colour brushes. Let's get some more paints in, uh, more darks in there, I think. Just a lump of ultramarine that's congealed. So it's probably three or four days old. Right. Waft. Now, I've made that look as if I've gone around that tree instead of behind it, so I'll uh, change that a bit, put the light back. Bit of oil, bit of red, bit of ochre. You can keep doing this and just keep changing, blending. Right, I'll uh, go back to those trees now, but I'll, I just want to go back on this uh, this foreground. Let's just get rid of that path a minute. I'm going to start putting some texture in. This nice bit of a. Uh, Shadow there. Right, let's get texturing. <sighs> Oh, 
Right, let's get the old tissue going. This is old texture. As a certain person would say, creating the illusion of detail, which is what I've always tried to do. Death to detail. This is much easier. No, I don't mean that. That's uh, just because I can't do it. Well, I can actually. I did it on a lot of AC Venice paintings I did in the nineties, but I got bored doing those, and I really wasn't good enough. And I took over from Laszlo Ritter in the Webster Gallery. Now Laszlo was a, the late Laszlo Ritter, a yeah, Hungarian artist, friend of Tom Keating, was a forger. But a great, uh, great guy. Let's try to, to lift out some of this with the... Uh, I might put in some light colour over that. out some of this and that brush. I've got to take out some, some lights on this more than I'm getting at the moment, but uh, they're doing all right. Okay, no, no hard edges. Right, let's do the old uh, twisted tissue trip. Try to do this up in a minute. <coughs> Another bit with less uh, paint on.
I'm just going to get a couple of the cotton pads. Don't tell me why. I'll buy some of my own and I'll, and I'll put them under lock and key. My wife must have the cleanest ear holes in uh, Warrington. Right. Okay, let's go back. Sorry about that. Let's just lift out some. done this with a cotton bud but, but I suppose this is cheaper. Get some light in there. Well this is great fun for Monday morning isn't it? To think all you poor chaps are at work. Nine to five. I'll tell you part of the song. More, more tissue. More clean a bit. Put a little bit of soft stuff on there. Impression a lot of light coming through there. Mm. Right now, very gently, I just want to put in some uh, bluey stuff. Focal point there. Okay, just want to make a little bit more light on that horizon. You can go over these ad infinitum, we've done 42 minutes, so we've done another 18 minutes before the camera will shut. Well it won't shut off, it'll just start a new video, which is a nuisance. Right. More. 
to lift it out with a little brush. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, I don't think I can do too much more on that other than create the impression of a lot of stuff going on there. on some of these grasses. Okay, I'll put that in the frame. Which I have ready. Well, almost ready. I've got another ball chip uh, drying off here. Let's put that in my right hands. I'll have a nice cup of tea when I'm doing it. Come back and wash the brushes out. Give them another. Oh, that's quite like that. That's quite nice. You never know. Oh, that's nice and warm, isn't it? I'll take the camera back so you can get a good shaft of it. Do a trailer for all my friends on YouTube. Oh, there we are. That's a nice autumn colour, isn't it? It's all very autumn today. It's cold and wet and not windy. Oh, I think there's quite a lot going on in that sky. Uh, the picture, oh, I don't know, it's not that dark. It, it's dark, but it's not that dark. Right, I'm going to leave that. I've, I know there's a bit of a hump there, but I'm going to. I'm not bothered about that. Uh, but that that that's basically uh, three colours, isn't it? Uh, light light red. Okay, um, the uh, sap green and ultramarine. I've not used. Oh, and yellow ochre. A bit of yellow ochre in the sky. Well, I hope you like that, folks. I do, I think that's quite good. Maybe just the foreground's just a bit too dark, but no, it's a, it's a, it's a dark picture. Thanks for looking in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.